Here's a story that shows why I say the hobby of metal detecting is about telling stories of the past. I found this round aluminum disc one day partially buried at an old home site. Once I saw the USA and name, I realized this was a soldier's dog tag, likely from the World War I era. Then just a few feet away, I dug this victory watch fob from World War I that was produced to celebrate the end of the war. I kept detecting and a few minutes later, surprise, surprise, I dug this World War I soldier's coat button. Three World War I relics very near each other got me thinking. Once I got home, I set out to do some research and find out about the soldier. I was able to locate Mr. Ernest McWilliams' draft registration card and learn that he was born in 1892 in Mississippi and that he served in the 816th Pioneer Infantry Regiment, a primarily African-American unit in Europe during the war. I was able to find this picture of four unnamed soldiers taken during the war from the 816th, but I have no idea if one of them is Mr. McWilliams. I also learned about his life after he came home from the war. He worked in the Postal Service until he retired. He was married for many years to his wife Betty before she passed away, and then he remarried and ultimately died in 1966. As far as I can tell, he never had children and I couldn't locate any surviving relatives. Do I know for sure that the button and watch fob were his? No, not for sure, but it's highly likely and I'd love to be able to return them with the dog tag if there's anyone left in the McWilliams family. Maybe someone who can help will see this. But the coolest part of this whole story is that I was able to visit Private McWilliams and tell him thanks for his service.